Epoxide ring opening reactions with strong nucleophiles. This generally means non-acidic conditions because most strong nucleophiles have a negative charge. In acidic conditions, they would be protonated, right, because they have some basicity as well. If we use an alkoxide, like sodium ethoxide, for instance, we attack at the less substituted ring position, and we create an ether that is vicinal to an alcohol. If we use sodium cyanide, the cyanide attacks at the less substituted position. We create a nitrile that is vicinal to an alcohol. When we use sulfhydride, we create a thiol vicinal to an alcohol. When we use a Grignard reagent, an alkyl magnesium bromide followed by water, we get an R group vicinal to the alcohol. And if we use a reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride followed by water, and you could also use sodium borohydride for this, you get a hydrogen vicinal to an alcohol. Here's an exercise to try out. Pause and work, and when you're done, you can unpause and see what I got. The sodium methoxide is going to attack the less substituted ring carbon of the epoxide. That'll open up our ring to give us an ether that is also an alkoxide. Then in the second step, water will act as a weak acid to protonate the alkoxide. And here is our final product. A methoxy group, vicinal to an alcohol. So this corresponds to product A. Now, what if you wanted to get product D? You would use acidic conditions and methanol. So, methanol and hydronium would get us there. With a weak nucleophile, like methanol, we use acidic conditions to protonate the epoxide. So, the hydronium in the first step acts as a proton source, the epoxide acts as a base. We then have this protonated epoxide, and water can attack which opens the ring. This is the epoxide oxygen, and this is from the water. And in the final step, another water molecule acts as a base and that gives us our diol. This is, in fact, the way ethylene glycol is made commercially. Again, in acidic conditions, the radio selectivity is a question of sterics versus electronics, and it depends on your two ring carbons in the epoxide. If it's a question of primary versus secondary, the nucleophile is going to attack in the primary position. On the other hand, if it's primary versus tertiary, or secondary versus tertiary for that matter, electronics wins and the nucleophile attacks in the tertiary position. Here's an exercise for you. I've got 2R, 3R, 2,3-diethyl, 2-methyl oxirane and we're going to react it with ethanol under acidic conditions. There'll be three steps. First proton transfer, then SN2 attack, and then proton transfer again. Go ahead and draw the mechanism while you pause your video.
And then when you're done, check your answer against mine. Here's the proton transfer step. The epoxide oxygen acts as a base, it takes a hydrogen from the acid. This produces the protonated oxygen, which makes for a good leaving group. In the SN2 step, the ethanol attacks the tertiary carbon of the ring that opens the ring. In this third step, which is proton transfer, we need a base to take that proton from the oxonium. And it turns out that another molecule of ethanol is perfectly capable of acting as the base. So here we have proton transfer. And there is our final ether product. Now, if we did this with sodium ethoxide, the regiochemistry would be reversed. So for another exercise, let's do that reaction. The same epoxide reacted with sodium ethoxide. Pause your video and draw the mechanism, which is first SN2 attack and then proton transfer. Then unpause to check your answer. So instead of starting with proton transfer, we start with nucleophilic attack. And the ethoxide nucleophile is going to attack the less substituted ring position. That's because electronics is not a factor here. Because the ring is not protonated, there is not a good resonance structure with the ring open. So it attacks here, and the alkoxide leaves here. Now we need a source of protons to protonate the oxyanion. And it'll probably be water. Which is most likely the solvent you would do this in. Actually, you would probably want to do this in ethanol. So, the alkoxide attacks the ethanol proton. And so now we have the ether in the less substituted position and the alcohol in the more substituted position, but the two functional groups are once again vicinal to each other. So which constitutional isomer you obtain is determined by what conditions you use. Acidic conditions will put the nucleophile in the more substituted position when it's a tertiary epoxide. Non-acidic conditions we'll put the nucleophile in the less substituted position. In acidic conditions with the tertiary ring carbon, electronics dictated the regiochemistry. In the non-acidic conditions, regiochemistry was dictated by sterics.